and I am. Give me a moment there. Back. I have returned. Just let me update the stream info so I can put in the Yakuza. Well, Yakuza 0 specifically, of course. Alright, man, you know what I need more of? Cookies. I need to make more cookies. The batch that we made last week, um, we, we've eaten them all, so I need to get some more. Or make some more, I should say. I, I've really been in a baking mood the past couple of weeks, which I'm sure you've noticed because I've just been taunting the stream with... I got distracted because the windscreen thing was a bit too low. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a good it's, it's a good windscreen thing anyway yeah I, 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 as you may have noticed because I've been taunting the stream with the baked goods that I've made recently is like yeah I've been really in the mood to bake stuff lately so I feel like I'm going to make another loaf of bread soon because that was super easy it was super easy and the bread was so good and now it's all gone because I ate it <laughs> so you know well, that's neither here nor there. Let's dive back into Yakuza and see what it is that Majima is going to get up to now. Will he join another cult? God, I hope not. I don't need to be seeing anybody shore a PP, I'll put it that way. Now the question is... What am I going to do? <laughs> I think... Uh, start on window mode again. I think I'm going to try because I switched over to Majima so abruptly from Kiryu. I think I might try to clue up as many side quests as I can before I do the next story beat. Because I got no idea when I'm going to shift back over to Kiryu again. Watch now, the entirety of the rest of the game is just me playing as Majima. <laughs> Kiryu's story just does not continue. You know, the main character of the series. Let's do another climax battle. Fulfill monetary requirements to win big. I'm not going to do that one because I don't like that one. Survive as long as you can without dealing or sustaining damage. Ah yes, customer is king! So I'm not supposed to hurt anybody. <laughs> I love that the jazz band is just playing along up there. Excuse me sir, I believe you've had enough. Yeah, I figured that was too easy. Alright, so it's no, no good to just focus on one dude then. It's just run and dodge. I assume it's eventually just gonna fill up with so many dudes that I'm not going to be able to escape. Oh shit. Oh shit! I'm screwed. Ah! <laughs> I was not prepared. Oh yeah, the the, uh, the Grand's owner, the Grand's manager is just going to get eviscerated by a man with a samurai sword now, that's fine. Anyway, that's good enough. I'll do one of those per startup. Oh yeah, I was gonna gamble some more. Let's go gamble some more. Well, maybe I'm going to fight some dudes and then I'll gamble some more. Oh wait, no, the alley's this way, yes.
That's right, it's me. Wanna fight about it? Smashy, smashy! Ow. Ah. That's what I get for trying to do the fancy finisher. So I'll do this fancy finisher instead. Alright, now I need to go feed my gambling addiction. Excuse me, lads. Wear this towel to remain calm at all times. <laughs> Good to know. What? Why am I not? All right. I'm I'm really sad that there doesn't seem to be a disco here anywhere. Majima must dance. Damn it. I could play darts and or pool, though. Oh look, there's a Mr. Shakedown. Oh look, I'm not going to bother with him. I, I overshot the casino! Excuse me, I too would like to piss away my life savings, please. Oh, it's poker! Texas Hold'em, Pineapple Hold'em, Omaha Hold'em, Texas Hold'em tutorial. Uh, Texas Hold'em's the only one I'm familiar with, so let's play that. And what stakes would you like? Uh, low stakes. I'll go with low stakes. Yeah, let's get 500 chips. In low stakes poker, you can bet 5 chips at a time in the first 2 rounds and 10 chips at a time in rounds 3 and 4. Please have a seat. Poker. Welcome to the poker table. Let's begin. Timidawaki, George, George of Spades! <laughs> Celeb Hitomi. So I'm assuming the 9 and the 8 are my cards. Uh, I mean 9 and 8 aren't bad. Raise them. I got a pair of 9s and a pair of jacks. Let's check. Not sure what to do. Ooh. I'll bet, thank you. Haha! -ha! I've gotten all of 12 chips. Let's keep going. Now oh, I matched previous. Check. Call it. Let's 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 see how this plays out. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Nah, hell. I'm probably gonna lose this hand, but.
Shut up! Oh, shit. I gotta make my money back! Can we edit this out? What? Edit what out? I'm not feeling fooled. Uh, I would have had a pair of twos. At least. Eh, a pair of two isn't much to go on, though. <laughs> yeah, I still would have been beaten. That pair would have beaten mine. Not in an ace, though. It's better. Let's raise that. I feel like I'm going to lose this hand. <laughs> I got nothing. Nope. Well, I'm the, I mean this far. May as well see what they have. Jesus Christ. Stop. I didn't have a hell of a lot. Well, he folded immediately. That's not that great. Well, I may as well keep checking. I'm not going to lose anything more than I've already put in. Nah, fool. I don't like what I have. Yeah, so anyway, I'd say for the next two hours I'm just going to be gambling in this game, so welcome to that stream. I'm not much of a gambler in real life, but whenever I have some sort of casino minigame in a video game, I... Something just clicks in my head. I think it's just because it's not real money. <laughs> and this is why I get so obsessed over it. I feel like this isn't going to end well for me. Probably not. I think I'm, uh... I think I'm screwed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> God damn it, I'm gonna keep going until I bust out. Five, nine. Now nah, fold on this one. Yeah, that was a uh, good call on my part. I had nothing. Sometimes I'm smart. Sometimes. Ashima, what are you doing? You got a cabaret club you have to run, and you've just been contracted out to murder somebody. It's like, but I need to gamble. I don't have enough money to do any of these things. I'm flat broke. I gambled away the deed to the Grand. Why the hell did you do that? You don't even own it. I don't know. I've got a problem. I've at least got a pair of sixes, so let's keep in this one. Ooh, 
pair of sixes, pair of twos. Raise that. Gotta try to get some of my money back. This probably is not going to end well for me at all, but let's find out. Hey! I got some money. George of Spades. I got eight, nine, ten. We'll stay in. We'll stay in it and we'll see what uh, the last two cards are. Pair of nines. I feel like I'm screwed. <laughs> oh no. All in for a penny and for a, a pound now. It's a good thing I'm not playing high stakes. Okay, I'm gonna keep playing until either I get my money back or I bust, and then that's enough of poker, at least. I'll try one of the other games. Come on, I got a jack and a king. This has gotta be good, right? <laughs> Here are jacks. I've got a good feeling about this hand. Let's do some true gambling. Although they're going a lot higher than I thought they would, so this might be bad. Come on, get another jack or a king in there, please. I've made my money back, and now I'm going to keep going because I'm a lunatic. You know what? I got a bad feeling about this one. Maybe I shouldn't have, though. Nah, nah, somebody's got that beat, I'm sure. Yeah, a pair of jacks. Smart move. I have them sometimes. Ooh. Ten or an ace? Sure. I can feel confident about that. Ooh, a pair of aces. Yes, sir. If I can get 600 chips, I'll stop. I'll stop at 600 ch I swear I'll stop. <laughs> That's right. If I can force them to fold, that'd be nice. Oh shit, he raised. Hmm. Fold, fold. Yes! 
bluff my way! H how about we do one more? How about we do one more and get to 700? That sounds good, right? 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 That's- that- that doesn't mean I have a gambling problem. Oh shit! Okay, I'm betting a pile on this one. I'm just gonna keep raising every hand. I got a pair of queens and a pair of kings now. Give me a moment there. My glasses are dirty. Maybe maybe I'm just overheating because of the, the hot gambling action! My glasses are steaming up because of it. Oh, that guy seems pretty confident about his hand, too. Hold, raise, call. Raise! Call. Call. Bed. Come on! If we're doing this, we're doing it! Me and you, Timidawaki. Let's see how timid you really are. Alright, what is it? Ha ha! Fuck you, buddy! But if I get over a thousand, that means I double my money. Sh should I? Yes, I'm going to. You know I am. I swear, after I get a thousand. After I get a thousand, I'll stop. <laughs> Watch how I keep going until I bust out everybody. I don't need much more to get a thousand. Uh, Jack. King and a queen. Pair of fours. We can get another jack in there, maybe. Eh. Nah. You know what? I'll fold. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that. A two and a queen. That could probably go well for my favor. a bit more conservatively now. I don't want too many more, so I can, you know. <laughs> ah, damn. Oh well. Oh, fuck, yes! Alright, big money. Luck truly is a lady tonight. Oh, George of Spades being the brave man, eh? Let's see what you can do, my friend. Go big or go home, my friend. I will be screwed over if one of them gets two pair. So I'm- this is more dangerous than the last time I had a pair of, uh, queens. Let's call it now. Eh, yeah, call. I don't want to go too far. Haha! -ha! Okay, I'm done. I'm cashing out. I just noticed something. They're giving me the...
They're, they're giving me the, um... Yeah, they're giving me the Xbox prompts again. Weird. Well, I'll keep playing. Uh, I more or less know how the game operates anyway at this point, so... Hopefully that's not a problem. Is this an R-Blackjack table? Yeah. Sure, I'll play. Have a seat. I don't know why the hell I didn't notice. They're showing me the picture of an Xbox controller. Welcome to the roulette table. Well, let's just bet on red. 200 on red. Screw it, let's put a lull on red. I'm short on chips. I just bet them all. Don't need to tell me twice. It's all right. I'm still not doing too badly. What's this game? Ah, Baccarat. You know what? No. I don't really understand Baccarat, and I don't really want to learn how to play it right now. I spent too much time gambling. Let's actually play it smart and quit while I'm ahead. Okay, well, I don't really know what we've got in terms of side quests still kicking around. Oh wait, there's that down there. And that there, and we still got some stuff up there too, I guess. I'll tell you what, let's let's go talk to the dude in the park. The guy who had to change his face. Hey fellas! Would you like to dance? Ow! No big finish for that one, but oh well. Hey, what weapons do I have anyway? Come to think of it. Yeah, I've got that knife which is currently damaged. And I don't think I can- yeah, I can't equip anything else because... This old stun gun seems to be broken and doesn't discharge electricity. Let's keep that equipped, see what happens. Um, excuse me. Hmm? Oh, what's up? This lady. Right, she's the wife of Akatani, 
the guy who got his face altered. Have you seen the little boy here? He would have been alone. Little boy? You mean Yusuke-kun? Yes, that's right. But how did you know that? Yeah. Uh, well, I actually got to be friends with your boy and played with him the other day. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I, this adult man, have been playing with your child in this seedy park. I hope you're okay with that. Oh, I see. Have you seen Yusuke today? I came to get him, but he's not here like he's supposed to be. Hmm. Can't say I have. Oh, I found his ball just lying there. I'm positive that he was here earlier. Uh, that's worrying. I'll keep an eye out for him. Yes, please. I'll keep looking around here. This kid's been kidnapped, hasn't he? Hmm. Yusuke-kun's gone missing. Doubt he's gone far, though. If I spot him, I'll bring him back to his mom. Probably down there. But first, oh. fighting. <laughs> No, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to do some kind of weird heat action with that. But apparently not. <laughs> Just randomly kick this man. Hey, what's this? Traffic cone connector! I do know how to use pole weapons now. So did I pick that up and keep it, or...? No. No, I did not. Hey kid, what are you doing over here? Hey there! Yusuke-kun! Your mom's looking for you. Mister! Hmm, something wrong? Some scary people came when I was playing in the park. Scary people? Oh. Yep. They tried to take me away, so I ran away and came here. What? What were they like? They were big and scary. They kept calling me Akatani's brat. Akatani's brat? Akatani, the guy who got his face changed. They're on to him. Now, Yusuke-kun, your mom's waiting for you at the park. We gotta get you back to her. I'll keep you safe, all right? Okay. Majima, the guardian angel of Sotenbori. Oh, hello, Majima-san. Yusuke-kun, too. Akatani, have you seen your, I mean, Yusuke-kun's mom around here? Yeah. No, I haven't. I just got here myself. Is there a problem? Well, let, we'll see. Nah. Hey, Akatani. Who are you people? Oh. Ah. Mom. Mother. Yusuke. Mm. Hmm, you're famous for being a lone wolf. No ties, no weaknesses. Wasn't easy trying to find how we could get you. But our diligence paid off. After following you around, we notice you're taking a lot of interest in these two. Huh? Are you out of your mind? I don't know these people. <laughs> oh, then it won't bother you if we rough them up, huh? You know, because we're big men. Beating up kids. Mom! Huh? Stop! Yeah, no family history, no friends or lovers. You kept yourself invulnerable, you stone-cold snake. Who would have thought you'd have this chink in your armor? Why is he throwing a knife at him? You don't want to see this bitch die. Take that knife and kill yourself. Oh. See? You keep doing- if you keep doing what you're doing, our business keeps taking hits we can ill afford. That said, if word got out that we dealt with you ourselves, it would complicate how we do business. So, let's settle this amicably. By which I mean, you kill yourself. 
Go ahead and kill yourself, then it's got nothing to do with us, see? You see? What's wrong? It's a great two-for-one deal. You get to save both the bitch and the brat in return for your life. Doesn't get any better than that. You promise? Sure. Are we going to witness a man murder himself in the middle of a park? <laughs> hmm, hey, this woman you say you're gonna spare. Who might that be? <laughs> Majima, sneaky bastard. What? You got numbers, but you take a hostage anyway. And you're too chicken to get blood on your own hands. Huh? That ain't the textbook definition of cowardly that I'm rewriting the dictionary. Huh? Yeah. You hope to keep this nice and clean, but that's not happening. When a job needs doing, I guess it's best to just get it done. Akatani, you keep Yusuke-kun and his mom safe. Got it. Uh? You're up first, you meddling asshole. You're dead! Oh shit, he's got a gun. Jesus! <laughs> Two can play at this gun game. Ow. That beats gun! Ugh. Took all of us alone? Damn! Hmm, you boys seem to have the wrong impression, so let me set you straight. The lady and the kid are strangers to Akatani. That's a lie and you know it. <laughs> if you don't want to believe me now, I suppose I'll have to do a better job of convincing you. Maybe permanently. Don't care either way, but it's your call, so make it. Yeah! I believe you. I believe. Don't you ever touch an innocent civilian again. If you do, I will hunt you. I will find you. And I will end you. Is that right, Liam Neeson? Got it. Never again! Mercy! Yeah, you sure can bring the menace out in your voice. Hmm. It's useful in my new line of work. Mom! Yusuke! What is his new line of work? Is he a vigilante? Yeah. Talk to him. Hi. Yeah. I'm sorry you had to go through that. It's all because of me. You're the man who's always in the park? Yeah. I'll never show my face around you again. If you could, please forgive me. Mister. Thank you for protecting us from those bad people. Hmm, Yuko. Please take care of Yusuke. Pardon? Yusuke, from now on, you protect your mom. Got that? Yes. Okay. Take care. Majima-san, here. This is for saving Yuko and Yusuke. I got a Sakura Storm. Ooh! Are you sure about this? This don't feel right. With me around, my family will be in danger. This is how it has to be. Mom, that man, is he... Hmm? Yusuke, do you know him? No, but... De 
Mister! <laughs> the kid knows. Let's play catch again sometime. What are these feelings welling in me? These emotions? Speed up some thugs. I wonder, would the sword count as a weapon for the slugger style? Let's take a look, shall we? This famed sword is said to scatter a swirling gust of sakura petals when slashing its victims. Okay, well that's that side mission complete. Um, oh god, Mr. Shakedown's up there. I don't want to run into him. Swing by my apartment and head up that way. There's just a couple more things I can do up that way, I know. How about abilities? Can I unlock some more? No, I think I need 50 million for everything I can learn here now. And for Slugger... Also 15. I wonder when I get Majima's third. His uh, third thing. Fighting stall. There's any actual heat action involved with the sword. Oh, there's a nerd. Oh no, it's just that guy. Wait, no, there's something else happening. Hmm, that boy on his ass. That's the fellow who was in a hurry to buy some lip balm. Oh yeah, that guy. I forgot about that guy. Have you met my friend, the man with the phone bag? Oi. Hey, you down again? Oh. oh, hi, again. It's my feet, the pain spreading and worsening. Oh. oh man, didn't I tell you to slow it down and walk? Yes, you did, but I was in a hurry. I'm sorry. Sheesh, how chapped were your lips? <laughs> ah, oh, my feet. Oi. Hey, you're gonna make it? Uh, if only I had some medicine with me. Medicine, huh? I'll give him the toughness Z. Here, drink this. It'll help you. Pardon? You mean I can have this? Yeah. All yours. Thank you so much. Whew, pain's fading away. Thank you again. Hmm, good to hear. Uh, by the way, did you get those chap lips of yours taken care of? Oh? Pardon? My chap lips? I'm sorry, I don't understand. It's not to understand. You're the one hauling ass to get a lip balm. Were your lips about to fall off or what? Here. 
Oh, I see the misunderstanding now. It wasn't for me, I was rushing because the girl I like asked me to get it for her in a hurry. Oh, gotcha. You were doing your girl a favor earlier. Yeah, basically. I run errands like that for her all the time. <laughs> really? And you don't mind being her little errand boy? Go get me this, run out and get that? Oh, not at all. She really trusts me, so I'm happy to go out and get things for her. Errands are opportunities for me to get her to notice me. Uh, huh. Can't shake the feeling that this girl is just using him. But if that floats his boat, I ain't gonna rock it. And because I was so diligent about running errands, she's given me a nickname. When we first met, she just called me by my last name. I'm making headway. That's so. What'd she call you now? She calls me Eren Kun. <laughs> that ain't a nickname to be proud of. The girl's got a sharp sense of humor, and it cuts too deep. Uh, listen, that nickname of yours... You do realize she's turned you into her personal servant, don't you? Huh? Is that really how it looks? But even if that were true, I still have a crush on her. It's all well and good, but she's running your feet into the ground, literally. That medicine's a nice quick fix for now, but I doubt you're all healed up. You know, this magical medicine we can get. Mm. Maybe you're right. I'll try talking to her, and see if she gives me permission to stop running errands for a bit. <sighs> He's not a quitter, I'll give him that. But if she wants anything, I've got to be the one who goes out to get it for her. It has to be. Well, I should be going. Thank you so much again. Hey, Bagphone God, do you believe this? Aaron couldn't. I can understand wanting to impress the girl of your dreams, but don't let it turn into a nightmare. He's running errands for that girl like I was running errands for you. Nakedian legends and yes I do know who you actually are <laughs> it's not going too badly I just beat the crap out of a bunch of guys with a baseball bat so you know doing pretty good <laughs> and rolls is here as well nice to see you too hopefully the both of you are doing fine today me I'm just beating up random thugs with my whirling bat of doom Still don't have enough money to upgrade myself, though. That's a terrifying mascot. They sh they should really update that. Oh, you got your first COVID shot yesterday. That's good. Well, I'm happy for that then. I mean, I don't have one myself yet, but I don't really work or do anything or go anywhere at the moment, so I'm pretty low on the priority list. Um, you know, of course, I've got two people who just popped up in chat, but I actually have to uh, go pee. I'll be right back. That water is going through me something fierce. So I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Um, you may chat amongst yourselves, and I'll catch up when I get back. Oh, and I have returned. Um, hold on now. Let me switch over to the thing. Open up the thing, which has now gone into window mode because that's how this works for some reason. But yes, happy Friday Eve indeed. I'm playing for about two hours and you were never notified. That's the weird thing I've noticed about the uh, about uh, Twitch notifications is. Sometimes 
Sometimes it doesn't actually send out notifications to everybody when you start streaming, because you're not the first person who said that. Like, you've come in and you're like, oh god, you've been streaming for this long already? Yeah, no, it's weird. But yeah, overall, I'm not doing too bad, I suppose. Time is long, that's really the best way to describe it, but I've been playing so many video games, at least. Oh, I do have to ask, Rolls, seeing as how uh, you mentioned you just got the first part of your uh, COVID shot. Um, how's, how's that feeling for you now? Because I know a lot of people have said, well, I mean, it's the same thing when you have to get a shot for anything. Your arm feels kind of funky for a while after you get it. Because I, I remember when I was a kid, we did this, um... We did this thing where you had to get shots for, I think it was Hepatitis C or something like that, and you had to get, like, three shots for it over the course of a couple of months or something. And, like, afterwards, your arm kind of felt a bit dead. <laughs> well, not dead, but, uh, you know what I mean. I had a sore arm yesterday, but nothing too bad. Over it today, it's felt good, though. Like a weight off your shoulder. I mean, that makes perfect sense. Like, I cannot wait until I can get one, too, but like I said, there are so many people ahead of me who need to get it before I get it. I can talk to this guy? Who the hell is he? Buy your bento lunch here! Delicious meals at delightful prices. Okay. Charcoal grilled chicken on a skewer has a savory smell that is out of this world. Oh, yeah, I'll buy that. Yeah, that's the, major the majority of what I've heard about it too, like the after effects, is uh, your arm feels a little bit sore afterwards, almost like, um, I guess it's almost like you've been working out maybe is the best way to describe it, but, you know, it feels that sort of stiffness in your muscle, so... Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like that, because you got a little bit of something in you that your body is like, oh, you know, I'm getting infected by something. Hmm? Uh. Oh, it's her again. Help, pervert! There's a pervert here! Ah, uh. uh, yo, shitbag, who you calling a pervert? <laughs> you fell right into the Obitarian's trap. Hmm? You dumb hag! Now you're really gonna get us! Whoa, now he's crossed the line. Ah! Nobody gets cute with the Yakuza, bitch. Suck on this! Okay, I thought, I thought Majima was just going to let that happen. Of course he won't. He's Sotin Bori's savior, he has to involve himself in everybody's business. Who the fuck are you? The eye patch fella. Hey, I know this old lady's a real pain in the ass, but that don't give you the right to pull a blade on a civilian. Huh? Hey, buddy. I know how you feel. I really do. I got accused of being a perv, too. But it ain't worth it. Trust me. A sleeping dog's lie. You're no match for the Obitarian. Hell, I ain't either. You trying to tell me what to do? You mosey up to me and tell me I'm no match for some old, for some old hag? You don't know shit, friend! The two of you can share a grave. Alright, fine. That beats knife! <laughs> and knee beats chest cavity. You ain't bad. Uh, praise is cheap coming from a chump. Now get lost. <laughs> nah, nah. Uh, you're the bee's knees, eye patch fella. Uh, I ended up coming to your rescue without even meaning to. Kind of hate myself right now. 
Well, on closer inspection, you're a fine piece of work. Just like my husband, when he was still kind of grabby. <laughs> oh no. Everyone hits on Majima, man. Everyone. My hat's really pounding. Whoa, dial it down. You're creeping me out, lady. No need for any feminine wiles. Oh, but I've got to repay you to set things right. Ugh. Keep your candy, lady. I don't need the sugar high. Oh, I had something of mine much sweeter than candy. Oh, no. Hmm? Come to Granny, you fine, handsome devil! Whoa! She's too strong! I can't hold her off! Oh god. I just destroyed a man in the street and I can't stop her from kissing me. Yeah, pretty sure I shattered a rib into the lungs and hurt. Dude's dead, not busted. No, no, that doesn't have a busted arm. That's the thing about this game. You can do horrific things to people in this game and they're perfectly fine afterwards. Some dude shot me in the stomach, and then I stole his gun and shot another guy, and then he got up and walked away la later, so... <laughs> uh, pop the cork off too early, sweetie. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's been a while for me, too. Oh, no. Woohoo! Get a room, you two! Oh, please. Don't tease. Uh, the guy at the counter was right. The only thing to be gained from getting involved with an obitarian is misery. Toughest creature under the sun ain't a pro fighter, and it ain't a Yakuza. It's the Osaka Novatarian. And I still can't eat anything from this booth. The game won't let me. After all this time. Ugh. Oh look, the little girl's there again. <laughs> hmm? What the? It's that gr doll girl bawling her eyes out. Um, is there something else going on? Are you, are, are you the one making that noise, or is somebody else making the ah uh, ah uh, noise? No, I think it's probably you. Alright. See what's wrong with her. The girl who's adopted me as her father, for some insane reason. What's the matter, Scamp? Hmm? What is this? The doll I gave you all, it got all messed up. Who did this? I want names! Majima's pissed! My mom. My mom. My mom's gonna get killed! Yep. What? Nani? The scary men who came to come to take money showed up, but this time they took her away. And they did this to your- Oh wait, no, that's Majima saying that. And they did this to your poor doll, huh? Do you have any idea where they took your mom? Down by the river, I think. Alright. Come on, kiddo. We gotta bust a move. I need to go save your mother and introduce- myself to her as your new father, apparently. <laughs> Stop it. I already paid you back everything I borrowed. Hello, ma'am. I'm going to save your life now. I am the... I am the stranger who's been winning dolls for your daughter. She calls me daddy. You better not question that too much. I'm kind of ashamed of it. Aww. Well, what are you talking about, you dozy ca Dozy cow? The insults that you hear in this game. We lent you a million yen, remember? B but I paid it all back by the due date. Are uh, you really that dense? You ain't paid a drop of the interest yet. <laughs> yeah, by my calculation, that's about 13 million yen left to pay, and we want it back. Now. <laughs> yeah, don't question it. I already do that uh, enough for the lot of us. Good point. 13 million? I could never... Yeah? I guess you'd leave us no choice then. You're young enough, still. 
Should earn us plenty of cash out on the street. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> no. And I know plenty of sickos who paid top dollar for the little kid you- Whoa, no. Okay, no, 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 no. These men need to die. <laughs> what? You can't. Those are the terms of the deal. You work for us until every last yen is paid back. Got us? Yeah, your brat's gonna fetch a pretty <laughs> price, too. Probably bring in more than you. <laughs> Leave her alone. My daughter. She's the only family I have left. Please, at least spare her. Please. Hey, get her out of here. The kid will be out front of that arcade like usual. I'll go scoop her up. Gotcha. Oh, no need for that. Hmm? Here comes Majima to save the day! Uh -huh. And who are you? Yes, excuse me, I am the owner of the premier cabaret club in this neighborhood. I'm going to kick your ass now. So, yeah, good work, you brought the girl! That, that's not what I was doing. And who are you? You ain't here to give us a lip about the way we do business, are you? Mm hmm? Yeah. I don't give a flying shit about your business. You can do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, then you're smarter than you look. How about you leave the kid and scram, then? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. See, there's two types of people in this world that really set me off. Mm -hmm. Dipshits who tear up dolls that I went through a lot of trouble to get a hold of. And fuckwits who prey on defenseless women because it makes them feel big. You fit both those bills, asshole. Huh? What? You motherfucker! Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta screw you, loose your skinny runt, cause you're bigger than that get your neck broke. Yeah, shut your mouth and put up your fist so I can hurry up and beat the shit out of you. <laughs> the dialogue in this game. Smashy, smashy! Better, bud. Scared? You should be. And home run! Yeah. Hey, I ain't done with you yet. Still gotta tear you up as badly as you tore up that poor doll. Cause that's the thing Majima is focusing on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You are correct in that the orphans we adopted in that Pathfinder campaign learn self-defense, so I feel like Majima needs to actually truly adopt this child and teach her how to destroy people with a baseball bat. Or shatter rib cages with her knees. Oh, thanks for handing out the gifts of their rolls. Greatly appreciated that. Yeah. Have mercy! Ah, come on. I was just getting to the fun part. Daddy! Don't call me that. <laughs> hey, you all right? I like how there's a dog just napping over there. Dad? <laughs> I can explain. Yeah. This is the man who bought me all the dolls, Mommy. I, I can explain. I call him Daddy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> the situations you find yourself in in this game. Oh, so that was you? My daughter talks about you all the time and you weren't worried? <laughs> um, I don't suppose I could ask your name? Sure, it's Majima. Majima-san, you've done so much for us. I don't know how to thank you. That eh, was nothing, really. This is a little token of my appreciation. Please accept it. You got a security wallet. Hmm, appreciate it, lady. Daddy, I'm sorry. Hmm? What's wrong, Scam? I told you I'd take good care of the dolls, but please don't be mad at me. Oh, they're playing the music. They're playing the music that they play whenever you learn a life lesson in this game. Why would I be mad at you? It ain't your fault. Don't even sweat it. But... 
Listen, even with its eye coming off and cuts all over, it ain't like it's dead. Its heart's still beating. I can feel it. Really? Yeah. Heck, I'm living proof, ain't I? Take one look. Take a look. One eye's gone, but I'm doing just fine. <laughs> You're right. When Bunchan got messed up, you didn't throw it away, right? You're still clutching it close. Yeah, it looks pretty happy about that if you ask me. Really? I'm gonna fix him up and keep him safe. <laughs> Maybe they were checking the dolls for drugs. I mean, the way this place is like, I have no clue. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked if they were smuggling- and it is the 80s, so even doubly so. Yeah, you do that. I better get going. Thank you for everything, Majima-san. Now if you excuse me, I have to go plan how I'm going to murder somebody for the Yakuza hero that I am. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, huh. It's got a nice ring to it. Majima, no. Okay, so what's that security wallet? What does that do? Ooh. This wallet drastically reduces the amount of money lost when you get shaken down. It's also said to give you a financial look. Ah, so there we go. That's something I need to equip when I deal with Mr. Shakedown. I'll probably replace the, uh, the encounter finder with that. So hopefully the financial luck means I get more money from encounters, period. Anyway, let's stop by the, uh, store. See how the weapon hunt went down. Oh, another thing. Oh, you took it that way? I, I see, I see, but no, that's not the right answer. Uh, I don't get it. What's this? A lover spat in public? But what's this? More people for me to help. Like a goddamn superhero. Hey, look, there's a Mr. Shakedown. I don't think I'm going to bother taking him on. so close, but it's still wrong. You need to use your imagination on that one. Uh -huh. Oh, don't gloat. Can't we just drop it? Uh, but... but oh, what's all the ruckus about? You kids being awful loud in front of this shop. That's bad for business. Uh. Oh, uh, yes. Sorry. Uh. Hmm, so spill it. It's got you two flying off the handle. It's this! Crossword puzzle? Some picture you drew out of squares has you that worked up? What the hell? D do you not know what a crossword puzzle is? <laughs> Sometimes I worry about you, Majima. It's not a drawing, it's a crossword puzzle. Crossword puzzle? Hey. Yeah, it's a puzzle with square grids in which you write answers to clues. Each letter of the answer has to fit in a designated square to solve the clue. With this puzzle, once the grids are completely filled, several letters are taken from specific grids and used to form one word or phrase at the end. <laughs> yeah, how about that? That's what's hip and happening these days? It does sound kind of fun. Oh. Majima's old. He, he's tw he specifically said earlier in the game, he's 24. When he says shit like this, it sounds like he's in his 80s. It sounds like he was born like 1900. A crossword puzzle! That's what's hip and happening these days, huh? Usually they are, but the puzzle Kokun made is too hard. I'm over it. Kokun? Uh, oh, that would be me. I'm Kosaku. This is my girlfriend, Shizuku. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> so you take make you two make puzzles and get each other to solve them? Yeah, you must really like these things. <sighs> Uh, yes, that's true, but... Hmm? Oh, blah. I'm over it. I don't want to work on this stupid puzzle anymore. 
I'm happy you made this for me, but can I give up? Huh? No, absolutely not. Huh? Hmm? But why? B because... You just can't quit. I'll help guide you to the answers. We can solve it together. This is his way of proposing to her, isn't it? He, he's... The, the answer to the mystery clue, or whatever the hell it is, is him proposing to her, isn't it? Ah, you're sucking all the fun right out of this by being so intense, Kokun. I don't want to do it. Oh uh, no, y you have to, please. I said I don't want to anymore. Uh, sorry to intrude. Uh, have fun solving puzzles and fighting a battle or whatever. Just keep it down, will you? Sorry, but quick rant. When the hell did K-Cups get so damn expensive? $40 US for the sampler pack you bought two months ago for 23 bucks. See, I don't know. I, I used to be thinking to myself, I was like, hey, these K-Cup things are all right. But then I was like, as long as you've got the means to perk your coffee, it's cheaper to just get either whole beans or ground stuff anyway, you know? Because <laughs> I've got like a little pot that I put on the stove out there that makes a single cup of coffee, and it makes the coffee in like five minutes, maybe? I feel like for the most part you're just paying for the packaging when it comes to that. Oh, Bravely Default 2 is coming out tomorrow? Oh, I didn't realize it was coming out so soon. I never did play the first one, but I've heard good things. Excuse me, may I have your name? Hmm? Uh, Majima. Majima-san, I have a few f huge favor to ask. May I have a moment? Say what? Your hundred dollar Keurig is about to turn into a hundred dollar hot water maker? I mean... I knew it. I knew it. Oh, so when you solve your puzzle, it becomes your proposal to Shizuku-chan? Oh, that's some real creative shit! Majima-san, keep your voice down. Ah. Oops, uh, sorry. Sorry, just trying to say. It's real clever. Romantic, too, I guess. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, but I didn't count on her being so stubborn that she can't solve a single clue. I don't know if that's her being stubborn. That's you being really shitty at making a puzzle. <laughs> Ouch, that's a tough one. <sighs> yes, that's where you come in. Majima-san, can you help Shizuku-chan solve the puzzle? Hmm? Help her solve it? Why do I gotta do that? If I keep hounding her, she'll totally blow her lid and tear it up or something. Please, my whole future is riding on this. Can you help Shizuku-chan with the puzzle so she get can get to my proposal? Okay. Alright, sure. I'll help you. <laughs> you will? You're my hero. I'm everybody's hero. Okay, let me get this straight. All I gotta do is help the girl solve the puzzle and you're golden, right? Hi. Yes. And if the puzzle if the puzzle questions are properly solved, my proposal will ultimately Sorry, I need to reset myself. Let's try it again. If the puzzle questions are properly solved, my proposal will ultimately emerge. I need your help to make sure she gets it right. Hmm, I get it. A proposal's a pretty big thing, ain't it? I'll pinch it for you. I mean, apparently they both are really interested in crossword puzzles, it's just that he made this one absurdly difficult for some reason. You know, the most important crossword puzzle he's ever made. Thank you. Let's move it inside. Let's go to the big crab building. <sighs> Kokun, you made this crossword puzzle way too hard. Can't we do something else? D don't be so quick to give up. When you solve the puzzle, I'll treat you to the best crab they've got. I'd like that, actually, but there's no way I can solve this puzzle by myself. It'll be okay. Majima-san here's an expert. He can help you with it. I never... I. I when I came over and asked what you were doing, I had no clue what a crossword puzzle was, apparently. How am I an expert? 
Right, Banjo Masa? Ah. Uh, like a wordsmith at crossword at a crossword forge. Oh, really? That would be so helpful. kokun has been obsessed with this crossword thing. It's so weird. Uh, I can't say I blame him. He's got his whole future riding on this. Huh? Ah! Ah! Let, let's get this puzzle started. Let's solve one down. <laughs> Majima just chuckling to himself. Um, okay. So, um, what's one down? What's the clue? Uh, let me see. One down. A dish made by boiling and crushing potatoes, and often served with gravy, gravy is called blank potatoes. The blank is where the answer goes. Back it up. What the hell is gravy? It's a western sauce made from juices of cooking meat. You know, the brown sauce they often serve with steaks and meat when it's served western style. <laughs> oh, that stuff. You really know your way around food, Shizuku-chan. Yes, but a boiled and crushed potato dish that goes well with gravy? I can't picture it. From the number of squares, it looks like it's six letters long. Okay. A dish made by boiling and crushing potatoes, often served with gravy, is called blank potatoes. Blank being six letters long, it's... Mush! Hash! I mean, for somebody who doesn't know what mashed... Uh, like, somebody who doesn't know that it's mashed potatoes, mushed is something that could also work. But, I mean, I know it's mashed. Yeah. In a mashed? Oh, that sounds right. It's the creamy, mushy potatoes you get with steak. Majima-san, you're fabulous. <laughs> Yep, yep. Ajima-san, you're on the ball. Yeah, I guess that has to be the answer. The only places that serve mushed potatoes are the ones that can't spell. Why didn't I know that? Mm, is this what you're hoping for? Yes, you're doing great! Are, are we... are we using telepathy with each other now? <laughs> I think it's safe to fill in the squares then, Shizuku-chan. From square one down, mashed. Okay, let's see. Mashed. I wrote it down. I, I noticed that Majima keeps getting involved in relationship style stuff, because, like, he had to pretend to be somebody's girl- uh, not girlfriend, he had to pretend to be somebody's boyfriend, and then her father attempted to make him be her actual boyfriend, and then also kind of asked him out himself, and then there's this whole thing, and then there's repairing the dude's relationship with his family, and... <laughs> the girl that he nearly met by exchanging messages in a bathroom. I wrote it down. Alright, next clue. The next clue is... What is the most popular snack food served at movie theaters? Kokun even left a note saying we shared some at the last movie we saw. Hmm... I ain't been to a theater in ages, so I don't really know what's popular. Kind of a skimpy clue. I have to agree. But if you shared some the last time you saw a flick, do you remember what it was, Shizuku-chan? I do remember Kokun buying some stuff at the counter, but... What all was it? What all was it? They asked him what size he wanted, and then... Bro? Oh. Comes in different sizes, huh? There are seven grids to be filled this time. Okay, a seven-letter snack food that's the most popular in movie theaters, and it comes in different sizes. Hot dogs. Noodles. It, it's popcorn. I'm beginning to wonder exactly how many crossword puzzles they do actually do together. Now granted, you can get hot dogs at some theaters. Probably even noodles too, for all I know. But like, how much do they actually enjoy doing crossword puzzles together if she can't even get that one? Because I realize this is a different culture, so maybe, you know, even though this is the 80s, not a lot of people would have had mashed potatoes very often, so it's not something they think of. But like, they just went to a movie lot long ago and had popcorn. Fair. Hmm, ain't it popcorn? Oh, yes, that's right. 
It's popcorn. <laughs> yep, yep. That's it. Yes, popcorn has really taken off at the movie theaters lately. Why didn't I remember that? Hmm, looks like we got it right. Yes, you're doing great. Please keep it up. I can't, they're just staring at each other and like, it's like, yes, yes, we're doing, we're doing it right. We're doing it right. You'll be married yet. And God help you when you are, because I don't know how you're keeping this relationship going. Yeah, Shizuku-chan, let's fill those squares. P-O-P-C-O-R-N. Shura P-P. Wait, no, that was the cult. Hi. Okay, um, popcorn. I wrote it down. Ah. Alright, bring on the next clue. The next clue is... A phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere sometimes. <laughs> There was a side quest that involved this, so Majima would know this one. Huh? Yeah, I actually saw a phone like that not too long ago, but it's a long story. Hmm, looks like it's a word that's eight letters long. Hmm, a phone that you can carry around, huh? Didn't I see that called a bag phone somewhere? But that's too short. Is it? I'm totally lost here. A phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere is called a blank phone. So the eight-letter word to fill in the blank is... Well, I mean, it could be backpack, or it could be shoulder, because you have to carry it on your shoulder. I want to say backpack, because, you know, a backpack is a bag. Fear. Hmm, ain't a backpack phone? Backpack phone, I see. That does sound very portable. That must be it. Uh, what? And backpacks have straps too, right? Majima saw? Yeah, two of them. And it's perfect fit at eight letters long. I think we got this one in the bag. Yeah. Wait, but. Fill in those boxes, Shizu. Oh, crap. It must have been shoulder. B A C K, B A C K. Okay, um, backpack. No! That's wrong! It is? Huh? That's wrong. The clue says a carrying strap, not two. And why would you carry a phone on your back? It's not an army field radio. I really don't think she should marry this man. I think, I think she should let this relationship die. Oh, I guess not. Oh, so you're saying it's not backpack? It's shoulder. You can wear those phones over your shoulder. So of course that's where the name comes from. It's called a shoulder phone. So that means just right shoulder in the blank square. No, no. Do not marry this man. You're way too intense, Kokun, but fine. Shoulder phone, bag phone. Why two names? Yeah, I ran into a guy earlier who was carrying a shoulder phone. Well, now I'm calling it a shoulder phone, bag phone. And I had to go through this whole rigmarole to get batteries for it and get him some medicine because his shoulder hurt because he was carrying the thing too long. And then beat up some thugs who wanted to steal it from him. Yeah, it's basically an early cell phone. Basically, you're carrying a bag that has a battery pack and a phone on top. I wrote it down. Good. On to the next one. Majima-san, we're almost done. The next one's the last clue, thank god. Yeah? Then let's do this. Okay, I'll read the last clue. Yeah, no, it's not actually an army radio like the angry dude just said. It was an early form of portable phone. Kind of like those big brick cell phones you see in movies set in the 80s sometimes, except it has a portable power source. This term is used to categorize the faces of men. A man with typically plain Japanese features is called a blank blank face. The opposite is called a sauce face. What? <laughs> I have no idea what this one is. The hell is that? Teenager slang? No, I'm screwed. I think the two blanks are where the answer goes. It must be two words. There's room for eight letters and all. Okay, so the opposite of sauce face must mean that it's something to do with a flavor or a condiment, right? 
Oh, that sounds very possible. If a sauce face describes a face as rugged and foreign, then this would be softer. How? What? How does sauce face mean rugged and foreign? Okay, a term used to describe the face of a plain Japanese guy, and it's two words followed by face, the opposite of sauce face, so the two words are... Miso soup, soy sauce, salt free. What? Soy? I mean, it could be soy. I don't know. Fear. Ain't it soy sauce? Oh, so you're saying it should be soy sauce face? <laughs> oh my god, that's actually right. <laughs> yes, yes, soy sauce is definitely less rich and thick than, like, barbecue sauce, for example. Where the fuck did you get this from? Like, I need to look up if this is actual- I'm gonna look it up right now to see if this is actual slang, because of- and I feel dirty for putting it in, because it almost seems vaguely racist, but... It's a legitimate term. That is a legitimate term. I am shocked. I am shocked that this is a thing. <gasps> hmm, was that right? Yes, it's perfect. Mizuku chan, gotta write that down. Soy sauce, okay? Hi. Yep, um, soy sauce. Oh, well, I screwed up one. It's not too bad. I wrote it down. Uh, let's see. That it for the clues? Yes! Yay! It's all done! Wait, wait. It's not finished yet. There's one last thing to do. Do you see the circles on the puzzle? You gotta use the circled letters to form a word. Oh, right. Let's see. It says, let's blank. I guess the blank is the word you get from the letters circled in the on the puzzle, so it's five letters. From mashed, I get the letters M and A. From popcorn, I get the letter R. From shoulder, I get another R. And from soy sauce, the letter is Y. Okay, now just write the letters in the blanks and read the whole thing out loud. That's Mary. Kokun, what is this? That's how I feel about you. I've been wanting to say those words for a long time now, but I could never work up the courage. I thought maybe putting them in a crossword puzzle would help me, and that's why I was so adamant about you solving this one. But I made it too hard. Sorry. Kokun. So, uh... Mm, what you read there is how I feel about you, Shizuku-chan. Do you... do you have an answer? Not until you say it. Hmm? Huh? Kokun, I want you to look me in the eyes and ask it. Sorry. shizuku chan will you marry me? <laughs> yes, y you really shouldn't. You really shouldn't. <laughs> I think I'm back? Okay, alright, I might be back. It looks like I'm back. Okay, oh no, it's doing the thing again. Yeah, I really gotta see. I, I've got to see what the hell is going on with the internet, because it's just... Sometimes it's fine. It still wobbles a lot, but usually it's fine. Like, last time I streamed, I was having a lot of bitrate back and forth issues too, but it kept going. But this bottomed out to zero in the middle of that whole thing, and then the stream just crashed. And OBS wouldn't close. I had to force it to close. So that's fun. That's fun. Yes, my hair did indeed get quite long. I haven't cut it since June, I think. 
My hair's been pretty long for a while now. Because, I mean, hey, you can't really get out and get it cut now, so, you know, there's that. But yes, anyway, like I said, thank you for dropping by, and I'll be sure to tell Jen you said hi. Um, let me see, I'll switch over to... Uh, 2020 June. Like, this past June is the last time I got a cut. I've been keeping it relatively long now anyway, but last time I had a cut, I suppose I had a cut up to, uh here somewhere i don't know anyway i'm gonna be losing it all relatively soon anyway because baldness runs in the family but hey you know keep it for as long as i can i guess yeah all right let's see if i can actually carry on with this damn you jeans I know. I mean, hey, if baldness is the only thing... If baldness is the only thing I've got to worry about, then, you know, I'm doing okay. Oh, you haven't gotten a haircut since your wedding? Goddamn, man, that was a while ago. That was summer 2019, wasn't it? How was your hair not longer than mine? Anyway, I'll see if I can carry on with this. Controller disconnected? That's that's why. There we go. Yes. <laughs> really? You will? Sweet! Yes! 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 I need to get the M. Bison gift to show up. Huh? How hard was that? I wish you would have just said it instead of putting me through this, you idiot! Then why are you marrying him? Uh... I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd have so much trouble solving it. I did it on purpose, you know. I wanted you to say it. Hmm? Wait, what? Forget it. Uh, congrats, Kosaku and Shizuku. Have fun with your marital bliss. Controller disconnected. <laughs> Majima-san, I can't possibly thank you enough, but please, take this. Formalines? <laughs> oh, okay, it's a crafting material. Majima-san, you sure know your way around crossword puzzles. You breeze right through it. You really new at these? Yes, damn you tropes. <laughs> yep, first time. It was pretty fun, though. You gotta put together another one of these for me sometime. Yeah. And then he never sees them again. Oh, I don't think there'll be another one. My crossword puzzle my making days are over. From now on, if I need to convey my feelings, I'll say it in my own words. You, you, good idea. Kokun. <laughs> Sappier than a tree, Kokun. But good for you. Alright, cool, man. See you later. Thanks for dropping by. We'll be going now. Thank you, Majima-san. Thank you so much. We're going to be happy together. <laughs> and then she- and then hurt. <laughs> how do you say that? How do you- how does that come up in a conversation? We're gonna be so happy together. Hurt. Or is it like- like- like, you know, K Kano's fatality in Mortal Kombat or something? <laughs> We're gonna be so happy together. <laughs> she rips out her fiancé's hurt and shows it to me. <laughs> Fatality. Ah. Yep, no doubt. I bet those two would have ended up together no matter what I did. But he's right. If you want to say something, you gotta say it in your own words. Your own words are what get you through life's toughest spots. Even when you gotta... cross words. <laughs> yeah. I thought. <laughs> oh, that's that's fantastic. <laughs> I thought I'm free. <laughs> I love this man. I love Majima so much. <laughs> Time to be moving along. I thought I'm free. <laughs> Okay, now I can fix the, uh, fix the graphics settings. <laughs> ah, 
this motherfucker, man. Oh, Majima. Uh, yeah, my bitrate is still wonky as hell, but hopefully I won't crash and bottom out before I finish streaming. I'm good for another... Uh, yeah, another half hour, 45 minutes yet. Fingers crossed. Suppose you can't teach me anything new yet, can you? Ooh, he can! Tanfa! I have a Tanfa. Teach me about the Tanfa. Hmm, you wish to learn the Tanfa? Then we will train in actual combat, as you suggested, Majima-san. Are you healthy and ready to fight? Sure. Ah. Yeah, I'm good. Then let us go outside. The Tonfa is a weapon from Okinawa. A set of two is generally used there, but I prefer to wield a single Tonfa. Uh -huh. Hmm, not two? You got a reason for that, your rebel? Yeah. Hmm, it is more portable this way. In some countries, they even use them as police batons, so there is plenty of room to adapt them to different styles. Hmm, I see. You're gonna show me these styles, huh? Of all the weapons I teach you, this is the easiest to wield and the most suited to one-on-one -on -one combat. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's skip the chat and hit the sticks, then. <laughs> I look forward to getting another look at your bat techniques. We should avoid using our more powerful moves. All right, here I come. You see, he tells me that. Ah, yes, the funky music. Oh crap! Oh Jesus! I keep forgetting that I can pretty much block all damage with that. Well, most damage with that. Ah! Oh my god! I think he's got me beat this time. Why can't I get my twirling bat attack in? There we go. Doesn't look like it's very useful, though. There we go. That's better. Who please? But walked right into that one. Beat him, it's gonna be a freaking miracle. Oh, there we go. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I got to hear some cool tunes at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bat Beat Stick. An excellent performance, Majima san. Let us go back to the store.
Hi. Fine work, Majima-san. I planned to bash my way through your defenses, but you staved off my attacks admirably. Not really, you nearly beat me to death. Yeah, if it looked easy, it wasn't. Your defense was pretty ironclad yourself. The tonfa is held parallel to the arm, which makes blocking intuitive. You can defend at any time while maintaining your stance, so it offers a good balance of offense and defense. However, keep in mind that its range is limited. As I mentioned, it is best suited for single opponents, when you can maintain your stance against them. Ah. Got it. Thank you for visiting the Dragon and Tiger. Man just bleeds into the noodles. <laughs> Currently so am I. He's roughed me up so bad. Hi. Travel toward destination, trying not to get distracted by the breathtaking natural beauty. A group of men suddenly appeared. After putting a canvas sack over my head, they took me to the negotiations. Sudden setback, interference from the locals. Resounding success! The weapons fanatic. Double slats, wooden collie sticks. Let's send, uh, send somebody else out. Let's keep it local this time. Small fry Yakuza from the Tohoku region, quite friendly for a criminal organization. Does it not show me when I've already sent somebody somewhere? Because I know I've sent somebody to Hercules Sporting Goods. Now let's send somebody to the uh, Hanafubuki family. <laughs> Traveling entertainer! Look how entertaining that man is. Backpacker. Long haul fisherman, ex Yakuza, ex police officer. Let's send the ex, ex Yakuza. And let's give him an extra 10 grand for some funds. Not even very often that I use weapons, so I don't even know, man. Mango magazine. Yeah, let's not bother with that. Although, actually, no, I should repair that knife I have. Although I actually come to think of it, costs a lot of money. I want to save my money to improve myself. Uh, speaking of improving myself, I am dying. Let's eat this. It's okay. I'm not really healthy, but we can give it a shot. You may beat me to death in a back alley, but... Alley sticks consist of two short sticks. They are usually made from a wood called rat... Or rattan, I suppose. Have you ever... Have you heard the word Kali before, Majima-san? Oh. Nope. Enlighten me. Hi. Kali is actually the name of a martial art in the Philippines. It is their national sport. The word Kali comes from the local language. The weapons spread throughout the United States and the word sticks was added. I'll leave out the details, but their practicality has made them popular all around the world. Hmm, a weapon from the Philippines, huh? Who would have thought? But you really think they're world famous? 
Yes, it is easy for simple weapons such as these to take root. Well, maybe they're just taken off here in Japan then. Only thing I've seen that uses two sticks are taiko drums. <laughs> I like that laugh. He's like, <laughs> do not underestimate their potential to cause harm. Oh, you were in martial arts and you've used these things before? Huh. That's actually pretty neat. Sure, let's get this show on the road then. As a kid, yeah, I mean, it's still pretty cool. I look forward to getting a look at your bat techniques. He keeps telling me to avoid our more powerful attacks and then he beats the shit out of me. Stop using your powerful attacks. Ah! Oh god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> I thought we were friends, man. Okay, when he says more powerful attacks, it must be heat actions. I can't use the heat actions in this in this fight. Okay, I think the best thing for me to do is get the shit kicked out of me, yes. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I was going to say the best thing for me to do is to wait for him to attack and then counterattack, but then that happens. <clears throat> uh, those sticks suck. Can you walk? Let us return to the store. Are you okay, Majimasa? <sighs> Yeah, I'll tell you where you can shove those sticks, though. Mm, the fact that you failed to beat me shows you have yet to fully grasp the properties of Kelly sticks. You're welcome to keep trying until you win. Thanks. Excuse me, I need to hobble my ass out of here. Maybe I'll actually carry on with the main story. First, I need to find somewhere to eat. Oh, that's Mr. Shakedown. Nope. Nope. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm bleeding out here. My friend nearly killed me. I may actually risk trying to take him on, though. Oh yeah, that's right, this place is really pricey. Um... Hey, there we go. It's good enough. Oh, I should go to that other restaurant, though, where I'm befriending the chef. Probably not right now, but... I should also go to the arcade and play that game again so I can further befriend the person who works there. It's all about making friends. Okay, looks like Mr. Shakedown has moved on. Well, I suppose I may as well go in and check that out now, seeing as how they're done. Hi. Arrived in a small town with barely a soul in sight, stepped inside an inconspicuous old family house. Good reception, greeted in a very promising way. Resounding success. I'll send somebody else out then. can send somebody to a soccer stadium? 
An English soccer stadium and a battlefield for overzealous fans. Professional wrestler. Ex-Mafia. Information dealer. Send the wrestler. Ooh, yeah! That's right. We gotta send the Macho Man to get some weaponry. Okay, now let's start into the arcade, and then maybe I'll go home and try to carry on with the main story. Oh hey, she's actually playing the game now. Hmm. That looks like Kyoko-chan over there. He's in the middle of a game, so I better not disturb her. I'll wait till she's done. Hmm, looks like she's done. Hey! Huh? Oh, Majima-san. You came at the perfect time. Why? I played a few games while I was doing some maintenance, and I got pr a pretty good score. See? Give me a look. Man! A million points! That's pretty damn good for someone who just started. Mm hmm. <laughs> I thought so, too. Ah. Yeah, you're a natural. Mm. Say, Majima-san. How about we have a little competition? Huh? What, you and me? Hmm. Yes. If you get a better score than me in your next game, I'll give you a prize. Prize, huh? Mm -hmm. So, what do you say? Yes. Alright, I'll take you on. Mm -hmm. Oh, great! Let's see what you can do. The scores you get when competing against Kyoko don't count towards your completion list or rankings. <laughs> The way his eye rolls up in the back of his head before he starts, it's it's great. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Welcome to the fantasy zone. I'm not gonna beat her score that way. Get ready. what the story is in this game. There must be some story to this game. There always was a weird one for every arcade game. This guy in his rad outfit and his laser cannon and hover boots. Ah, oh, damn it, tree! I'm probably not actually gonna beat her score, am I? I did it! Hooray! To celebrate, I'll destroy myself with this rock. Oh yeah, that's right, I've been putting in Majima's name for this, haven't I? Rather than my own. Maj. Alright, how about that? Wow, that's incredible. You're really good at this, Majima-san. <laughs> that's right, baby. Baby? Can't believe you breeze past my score like that. I really tried my best and everything. Well, I came out on top today, but I'm sure you can do better if you keep trying. <laughs> You're much kinder than you look, Majima-san. Have you seen the shit I've been doing all day? I, I saved a mother and her daughter from what I can only assume was sex slavery right in front of this store. Huh? 
Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your prize. I got some quality iron. You should do this again. I won't lose next time. Yeah, let's see how high you can get that score. Anyway, let's actually head to Majima's apartment and, you know, carry on with things. Yeah, I thought he was a guy who could beat up. I still got a ways to go before I can upgrade my next, um, ability. I gotta start learning to take down the Mr. Shakedowns. Seems like the quickest way to get money if I can beat them. broken anybody's neck yet today. Seems like a psychotic thing to say, but that particular move, I haven't actually done it yet. What a long, strange day this has been. Because everything I did last stream happened within this particular day, too. Ending in Makoto Mik Makimura. Step once, finding the guy. Sagawa said to try hitting up, uh, hitting the telephone clubs for girls in Makimura's ring. Guess it's time to make some calls. Yeah, I think he just wears the one outfit. I thought you were able to change your outfits, but maybe I'm mistaken. Oh hey look, a dude for me to beat up. Oh, one second, I have to check a message. Actually coming pretty close to the end of my time, but we'll see what I can do. Try that again. Oh, he did do that again. I don't know when I can do the counter. Oh, <laughs> 
You stop. Come on. No, not you. Although I could have done it to you, couldn't I? Nah, screw it. Fine, we'll do it this way. Oh, it's this guy again. Hey, that's Aaron Kuhn. Looking down and out de dejected. Does his feet get worse on him? Ah, uh, no. I am so screwed. Hey, what's wrong? I've seen dumpsters happier than you. How, how, what? How is a dump... How? I don't under... I'm not even going to question it. He says a lot of weird things. Oh. Oh, that voice. Hello again. It's my sneakers. The soles are finally worn through. Oh, they do look beat to crap. Mm. Yes, they were my favorite pair. I can't even go buy a new pair like this. Mm. Mm, he needs no shoes, huh? I'd give him some, but I ain't exactly in the habit of carrying a spare pair. Ah. What am I going to do? Mm, Don Quixote carries sneakers, if I remember right. Maybe I'll get him a pair if I feel like it. Otherwise, he just needs to stand here all day. Hey look, there's Bagphone Guy! I would like your finest pair of shoes, please. Oh, I should also probably buy some, uh... Buy some healing items, because if I can find... Let's get three of those. If I can find Mr. Shakedown, I might try to take him on. Let's give this guy his pair of shoes, and then we'll see if I can track him down. Hey kid, I have shoes for you. What am I going to do? Poor guy's shoes gave up the ghost. I got a pair of sneakers on me, but do I give them to him? Here, will these do the trick? You gave away a pair of sneakers. Huh? I can have these? Really? Thank you so much. I'll put them on right now. Nice. Wow, these sneakers are great. They feel wonderful. These are the latest style too, aren't they? Oh man. Are they cool? I should go for a run in them. It'd be a waste not to. <sighs> hey, did you forget the whole reason you got into this mess? Think you ought to take it easy, maybe? Oh, oh that's right. I couldn't contain myself. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Getting happy makes you want to run? That's a thing? <laughs> eh, I hear that all the time. I was on the track team in college. Running is in my blood. Uh, you're a strong runner then, I take it. Hi. Yes, I am. But I've been running too much without taking the proper precautions. That's how I ended up injured. Let me guess, you're still running errands? Hey. Yeah. I can't stand the thought of not seeing her happy. Oh, I'm keeping her waiting. I have to go. Thank you so much for these sneakers. <sighs> well, at that pace he'll end up hurting himself again. What do you think, phone bag guy? Okay, yes, I can see where Shakedown is by equipping that. You know what? I'm going to save it. Oh, buddy's back? Jesus Christ, you just left. Hey, that's Aaron Quinn. Looks like his feet are killing him again. I just left!
Jesus Christ, kid. Anyway, I'm going to save it. I did just save it, yeah? Yes, I just... I already saved it. Okay. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to go take Shakedown on. If I beat him, I'll just save it again. If I do not, well, that's it for tonight. Oh, he's down in the park. <laughs> I don't care about the small fry, I just want to find the big man. Oh, there's so many gangs kicking around, though. <laughs> I have no time for your shenanigans. There we go. Is that big bastard still here? No, he's moved. There he is. I would like that 14 million yen, thank you very much. Um, let's see. Well, I'll equip this. But, that being said, if I lose, I'm just going to stop playing without saving it anyway. Oh? Hey, prick! Oh, my. Hey, buddy! I'm flat broke again. I want to go to a cabaret, though, so give me some money so I can go there again. I wish you'd earned your money like the rest of us, then I'd welcome you to my cabaret. Got some real nice girls there. Huh? Really? Your cabaret? Anyway, why bother earning money when I can just take yours? Come on, hand it over. Oh no! Jesus! Note to self, don't grab the shakedown. Why is this guy so tough? I've got items, why don't I use them? There we go. That's it. Build up the heat. Do that attack. No! Get up, get up! Oh, Jesus. Alright, we need another one. Need more juice. It'll be worth it if I can take him down.
Wait, do I have something else that'll improve my heat? Because then I can do the other thing. Yeah, there we go. Boom! He's angry. I would have had enough for that attack too if Majima get up get oh fuck <laughs> so close so close if I'm careful I can take him holy smokes he's stupid strong I hate him. I hate him so much. Anyway, that'll do for today, I think. Damn you, Shakedown! Again, I can probably just tab out and exit the game, but I'm just going through the whole Rick and Roll to quit this way for some reason. All right. Okay, let me uh, switch over for the ending spiel. See if there's anybody I can send you over to. Yeah, I'll probably just leave it at that, I guess. Anyway, if you happen to stop by to watch, I thank you very much for doing so. Even though the stream has been pretty shaky as fuck, and it crashed on me earlier, that was fun. I'm not looking forward to trying to sort out what happened to the video, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, if you happen to stop by to watch, I thank you very much for doing so, and hopefully you find folks who join me next time, which will probably be on Saturday where I might stream some Valheim, because I've been playing a lot of that the past couple of days. So, uh, yeah, if you want to check that out, stop by for that. Until then, as always, I wish you a farewell, and hope you have a great night. So long for now.